Would you like to know how to rock your revision? Here are three top techniques to try. First up, we have flashcards. Flashcards are a classic technique for revising key concepts and terms, how they work. First, you need to get yourself a set of blank index cards or create your own cards. Write a question or term on one side of a card and the answer or definition on the other. Now you can employ active recall. Test yourself by looking at the question or term and trying to recall the answer. With spaced repetition, you can focus on revising cards you struggle with more frequently while reviewing mastered cards less often. The Leitner system is a popular spaced repetition method using boxes for cards at different review intervals. Cool. So why does it work? Active recall. The act of trying to remember information from the cue on the card strengthens memory pathways. Self-testing identifies knowledge gaps and areas needing more focus. Also, they are portable and flexible. Flashcards can be studied anywhere, anytime, allowing for quick revision bursts. Finally, spaced repetition. Optimizes your revision by prioritizing what you need to learn most. So many things to consider, there is a time investment. Creating flashcards takes time and effort, passive studying. Just rereading flashcards can be less effective than actively recalling information. Beware, information overload. Too many flashcards can be overwhelming. Try to focus on key concepts. Now let's dive into the, the next strategy. It's called the brain dump, buddy book technique. This method is a unique blend of brainstorming, collaboration and textbook review, tailored to make your revision sessions more effective. Here's how it works with a revision buddy. First, engage in a brain dump. Individually write down everything you remember about a topic for three minutes. Just let it flow like a stream of consciousness. Next, share and compare. Read your notes to your buddy and ask them to add anything you missed, highlighting these additions in a different color. You'll now do the same for their notes. Then, move on to textbook review. Compare your combined notes to a textbook to identify any remaining gaps in knowledge, highlighting these two. And as a bonus tip, create flashcards from the missed information and quiz yourselves. You might be wondering why this technique is so effective. Well, it leverages active recall. The brain dump forces you to actively recall information, which significantly strengthens memory. Collaboration is key too, as sharing notes helps identify missed information and offers different perspectives. Textbook integration ensures all key points are covered and clarifies any gaps. Lastly, using flashcards reinforces learning through testing and repetition. Some considerations to take on board. Finding a buddy requires a dedicated and reliable partner. You must have good time management. Ensure you have enough time for all the stages. If you can't find a buddy, you can adapt the technique. It can be done solo, just the brain dump and book part. Lastly, we have the Pomodoro technique. So, how does it work? First, you need to set a timer for 20 to 25 minutes and commit to work on a single revision task in a focused way. After the timer rings, take a five minute break. Get some water, walk around or check your phone. Repeat this cycle three times. After the third cycle, take a longer break of 15 to 30 minutes. So why does it work? Well, breaking down revision into short chunks can help you to maintain focus and avoid feeling overwhelmed. The short breaks help to refresh your mind and improve your ability to concentrate. Things to consider, it is important to take breaks even if you don't feel like you need them. Don't overdo it and push yourself too hard. Take regular water breaks and rest in the longer breaks. With so many revision techniques out there, picking the perfect one can feel overwhelming. Don't worry, the best approach isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Consider your learning style. Are you visual, auditory or kinesthetic? Mind maps might be ideal for visual learners. While auditory learners might benefit from reading aloud or discussing concepts with a friend, Experiment with different techniques like flashcards, practice papers and summarizing notes. See what helps you grasp information effectively and keeps you engaged. Remember, the most important factor is finding a method that boosts your focus, memory and ultimately your exam performance. Check out our other videos on study techniques and note-taking techniques. If you like this content, please give it a like, share it with a study buddy and subscribe for more learning and development tips.